Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Ask Split Suit a Question. I'm James Split Suit Sweeney, here for thepokerbank.com, and today we're going to answer one of your questions. So today's question comes from Donovan D, and Donovan asks, how do you explain to a student who wants to donk their draws, donk their showdown value type hands like second pair, bad kicker, or even bottom pair heads up, and throw in some bluffs and some big hands for balance, that this is just not the right road to go down for a newer player? So Donovan, that's a great question, and just to make sure we're all on the same page, a donk bet is a bet made into the previous straight aggressor. So if we take a situation where we're talking about a flop donk, that means that there is a preflop raiser, we called, and we led into them on the flop. And I'm assuming here that we're talking mostly about flop donks. So before we even talk about that, we have to kind of understand ranges real, real quick. So one thing to keep in mind is when you call in the previous street, and obviously in order to donk that had to have been the case, when you call, your range is inherently more capped than your opponent's. So for someone to raise preflop, they can have a much wider range than you can have by just calling. Because when you just call that raise preflop, chances are you would have three bet the really, really strong stuff. So the aces, the kings, blah, blah, blah. Chances are you're not going to call the total junk, 10-3 suited, 8-4 off suit, etc. So when you do call, you're left with this more precise and, dare I say, more predictable and slightly easier to read range for anyone that can hand read at all. And that's a very, very important thing to understand when you're getting into a donk betting situation is that your range was inherently more capped and inherently is more precise when you get to this donk opportunity. So the issue when you get to the flop with this kind of range and then Donovan says that the student is trying to donk pretty much all of it is how are you going to be properly balanced in a situation like this? It's going to be very, very difficult to be very balanced. And also think about it. Donovan said this person's donking essentially everything. So in that kind of situation, what are they checking? So creating a properly balanced donking range, especially in the context of your entire flop action, is actually quite difficult to do. And in fact, when I donk bet, I'm usually not balanced at all. I usually have some, you know, of my strong versus my draw versus my weak, but it's definitely not properly balanced in the slightest. I'll be the first person in the world to admit that. So trying to create the situation where you're donking like everything is going to throw you so off balance and it's going to be very, very odd. And I really don't expect that to be a winning strategy in the long run. Now, having a donking range, good. Donking everything, not good. So in my opinion, if you're a newer player and you're looking into donking, you know, learn when to donk your big hands, learn when to donk a draw and learn how to donk a bluff. But don't go out of control and start donking everything because you're going to miss opportunities where you could have gotten a continuation bet and possibly a double or triple barrel from a worse hand and you could have called down with top pair weak kicker, or second pair, or even top pair decent kicker and gotten multiple streets of value. You can miss a lot of opportunities and miss a lot of bets from your opponent by just constantly donking into them. So like I said, it's difficult to create a really nicely, perfectly balanced range in this kind of situation. And if you're constantly, constantly donking, you're definitely going to be making mistakes in the long run and you really want to look into this. Just by the same token, if you never donk bet, you're missing some opportunities and you want to explore this as well, because there are definitely some good opportunities and some good situations to make that donk bet. So Donovan, thanks for the great question, and if you or anyone else has a poker-related question, feel free to leave them on our Google Plus page. I'll leave the link for that in the description box. And please make sure to like and subscribe if you're enjoying this type of video. Same as always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know. Otherwise, good luck out there, and happy grinding.